Hey guys, uh, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals. Um, today I'm going to be doing layout um, for the, the greenhouse, and I thought I'd show you how uh, how I do that. Um, there's different ways people who do construction and stuff they have different tricks and stuff like that that uh, that work good. Um, this is just how I've learned to do it. Um, over the years I've probably forgotten some of the stuff um, that a, a really good friend of mine um, who owns a construction company um, taught me, uh, Ryan, um, Ryan Groff, and uh, he's taught me a lot of stuff over the years and I really, really appreciate his knowledge and stuff he's shared with me. Um, <clears throat> But I thought I'd show you um, how I have this laid out, how I'm going about it, um, and how everything's going to work out here. Um, first of all, I'll take you around here. Um, first of all, what I've done is I've taken and I've poured uh, concrete pads on it there, 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 there. I didn't, and I'm going to. I need to put one in the middle. I'm going to put one in the middle because of the span of the um, the roof truss. Might not have to, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just if you're going to do it, do it right. Um, but anyways, uh, I got to thank my cousin too, uh, Christopher, for uh, helping me pour these uh, concrete slabs last year. Um, these been sitting for a year. These these pads. So, uh, but I thank Christopher for helping me uh, dig the holes and pour the concrete last year. Um, what I've done here is basically, um, what I've done is, here I'll show you here. Uh, I got, uh, I've taken and I took my tape, I just took my tape and ran, ran my tape 20 foot, it's going to be 20 foot. 20 foot by 16 foot is going to be the dimension. Um, I just ran and got a rough measurement. My 20 feet this way. The same on on the other side. I did the same thing. Got 20 foot, and then I did 20 or 16 foot across. And I just put pencil marks. Um, I'll see if I can show you this. Uh, I just put pencil marks roughly um, on the. Uh, uh, I don't know. There you can kind of see them. Get out of the sunlight there. Um, there is my 20, and there's my 16. Or th there's my 20, and there's my 16. Sorry. Um, now what I've done, that's just a rough guesstimate. Um, get a general idea. What I've done now is I've pounded two stakes in either corner, there, down there there and over there um, what that will do is I can measure cross corner then with this string line and make sure that um, that I'm I'm squared up um, let's see here I show you I thought I'd show you a little trick that I've learned over the years doing some construction work and such um, let me zoom this in a little bit. Um, on your stakes, when you come to a stake as this one, um, and you need to go around this here um, with your string line to get, because what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to torque that uh, string up get really good tension on that to make sure it's not bowing or, or anything or that'll give you an in, improper uh, measurement. Um, now, uh, something else I thought I'd mention. Now this isn't as critical um, as if you were doing a house or something like that. Um, if you're doing a house, um, you'd want to make sure that your string is on the same side of the pin as your other end um, meaning you don't want the string to come around this way 
like that on that on that end and on this side you come around this way that can give you I mean yeah you're gonna be adjusting your um, your stakes and stuff but that'll help you uh, get a little closer a little more precise but anyways um, here when you go to go around this you take the your main line here and you come in with your tail in and you come in and I'm trying to show it so you can see it I got my tail in here and you come back you take and stick your finger through that that loop then you take and you go twist it one two three four five and you can go six um, then you put that loop around your stake now what that does is you can pull this end your tail end and pull the the other your your main line end towards you and pull the tail end away from you what that does is that pulls that that tight real tight and it'll make that whole thing taut right there and then you pull that down and you can go around your thing and that kind of locks it in come up make a slip knot and just take and put like a, a half hitch over that so it don't slip out there now that strings good and taut um, and you don't have to go about you know making all kinds of knots you don't have to ruin your string cut your string or nothing like that and you get that really nice and taut and you're, you're, you're good to go so I thought I'd show you that little trick um, while I was doing that hopefully you guys could see everything okay there um, now what I'm gonna have to do is um, I'm gonna have to go get some help you can do this on your own but it is a pain in the butt I've done it and it is a pain um, to hold the tape um, to run across corner um, so what I'm gonna need to do is I have to get somebody to help me um, I hold right on it's good what I'll have to do is I'll go around and I'll adjust my uh, the um, strings here there's a gap right here of about two inches I want to pull that string up so on on all corners so I'm just about touching each string right there that way I know I can get a good reading you know when I measure that across and you want to make sure you have your um, tape real taut so that there's not a sag and stuff in the middle because you will get um, an improper reading then um, I guess I'm gonna go get uh, get Austin and have him come out here um, he'll enjoy that he'll get out of his, doing some of his schoolwork um, but uh, help him have him come out and help me uh, measure cross corners and uh, I'll kind of show that as we as we do that then so all right I'll be back in a little bit all right fellas um, we're back here I went and got Austin um, got him out of his schooling <laughs> I'm sure he enjoys that um, now what I want to show you guys uh, zoom in here um, you can see the I'm trying to get this angle right so that the uh, Sun's not uh, blocking what I'm doing um, sorry about all that movement um, okay there's my string corner of my string right there now if you're doing a house like I said this isn't as critical as a house or something like that but if you're doing a house and you're taking a measurement you want to in each of your corners when you measure cross corner you want to make sure you're holding your tape the same side every time because if you hold it on one corner on this the top here you can see this being the top and this being the bottom um, if you're holding it on this side like that on one corner and the other corner you're holding it over here you're gonna get an improper reading you're gonna be off about an eighth of an inch um, in your reading what to get your square so you don't want to do that and you don't want to when you're when you have somebody holding this end you want to make sure they're not pushing or pulling on your your strings 
because that all you know that gives you improper readings and it you know you're gonna ha you're gonna fight and carry on to get it squared so thought I'd show you that now I'll move this camera back and uh, me and Austin are gonna measure cross corners um, He's going to hold in this corner, and I'm going to measure across to that corner. And then I'm going to move this camera. Maybe I can get both corners. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, but maybe I can. Um, you know, from that corner to that corner and that corner to this corner. Um, we measure across, and... Uh, see if we're square and if we're not square we got to move uh, hopefully it's not too bad uh, and we can just move hammer our pins over a little so all right Austin hold me right in that corner the top top edge not you Oops. can't you got to watch that you can't hit those strings or you're gonna throw me off okay. remember how I showed you okay. no you can't touch the string you can't touch the string it'll throw me off okay. hold on to it I, like I said, I'm, there's going to be pressure on it, so you can't touch the strings. And you got to make sure this is exactly in the very corner. Hold it like this. Right like this, okay? Right like this. Don't get your hand up above that string so you're not touching the string. You can't touch that string. Come on this side. Come on this side. Hold it. Stand like this and hold it right like this. Okay. okay. On the wrong side. Can't touch the string. Remember that. All right. Ready? I'm gonna put a little pressure on it. In the corner. Yeah. Twenty-five. Okay, go to that corner and do the same thing. Make sure you're holding that in the right place, like I showed you with the the, the corner of that. There you go. And watch your boot. Watch your boot. Tape might be in the way. Okay. You got it? It's falling. Huh? It's falling. Okay. 25, 6, or 25, 25, 7. Right, so we're, we're roughly about an inch, an inch out of square. Now, this can get tricky doing this, uh, making everything square, um, because if you're, if you're out of square, um, like I said, it, 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 it can get kind of tricky knowing which way to move, um, your, uh, your stakes and stuff like that. Um, a lot of times I end up screwing it up, but <laughs> it, it happens. So what I'm going to do is, um, I need to move a half inch take up a, about a half inch of, of play here. So I'm going to take this stake and I'm going to hammer it that way. Actually, I, sh I need to go the other way because reason being that side over there was longer than what this corner was. So this being squared up here, if if I hammer this way, it's gonna make this side shorter. So I gotta make this side longer so my lo measurement is greater over here. So it, it evens out on that side. So we're gonna see what we got again. Go in that corner, Austin. Oh, hold on, our tape. Hold on, our tape. Twist it there. You'll kink the tape. Twist it. Turn it. 
and your, there you go. Oops, hold on to it. Okay. Now you're in the way. Your boot's in the way. Move, just move your boot, because you're going to be, it's, I can see it's in the way already. Just step out there. Go ahead, put it down there in the corner, but you just got to make sure you're not against. Make sure it's on the same side as it was before. Okay. We are at about 20, 25, 6 and 3 quarter. All right. Go over to that corner. Twenty-five, six and three quarters what that one was. You good? Yeah. Okay, I went the wrong way, I guess, with that one. Let's try that. Here, go go ahead. Hold it in there again. Twenty-five, six and three quarter. All right, let's go back and measure this one again. It's hard to tell because he's letting it shake. <laughs> It's, and it is hard to it is hard to do, but we're pretty much we're within we're within about a sixteenth to an eighth of being square. Um, so I'm happy with that for the, the greenhouse. Now, like I said, if if I was building the house, um, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be happy with that. I'd, I'd want it within like at least. Uh, a 32nd to a, a 16th um, I'm just picky that way but uh, some guys now eh, well whatever you know well yeah till you get to the top level of your house or whatever you're gonna be off quarter half three quarters of an inch so all right guys um, Austin I know you don't want to but you can go back in and do your schooling Go. That way is the schoolhouse. I know. I, no. No. Nope. That way is the schoolhouse. Okay. All right. So now, this is where it can get tricky. And uh, measuring down to get exact square with your pencil marks um, from the uh, concrete up to your strings. That's where this is where it can get tricky. I'm going to show you a little trick um, how to get that and uh, I got to go all right guys um, I'm back um, now as long as your concrete is level you can do this um, if you're not leveled up it can be kind of a pain I wouldn't recommend you know on a house you're going to make sure your concrete's level this this it's off just a little bit but I'm close enough for to be happy with what I'm doing but you take a square like this and you come up and you come in against your string line and you make a mark for this string and then you come this way come against your string and you make a mark this way and there is your corner kinda an easier way than trying to line it up it's nice if you don't ha if you can run your strings down to about that level about uh, about two inches up or an inch up but I can't do this because the grounds uneven right here right now so I can't do that so um, hope you guys could see that okay, um, see everything. Um, I'm going to do some other stuff here, and then I'll get, uh, get back to you. So, alright, see you in a bit.